This is episode 55 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, September 6, 2021. Happy Labor Day. We are back from our summer vacation, and in today's show, we try four craft beers, a fruited Berliner Weiss, a fruited sour, a double IPA, and an American IPA. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Yes, you are. We got your host, Charlie. Yes, I am. We got tech guy, Steve. Yep. We got a little ruffle today. And we got some beers. Oh, we definitely got some beers. So today we're going to take a peek at a couple of beers that uh, at a brewery I stopped at uh, while we were on our hiatus. First show back after uh, vacation. About time you get back. The... uh, Little little place in uh, Dallas near the airport near Love Field called Celestial. Celestial. Wow. And then I think we also have a beer from a uh, local brewery, uh, Original Forty. I like it. We should drink it. We All should. It. Yeah. Every crack one of those. Uh, Here we go. Crack one of those guys up. We're going Celestial right off the bat. Uh, snacks. Is it snakes or snacks? Snakes on a planet. Snakes on a planet. So this is a uh, a base Berliner, and they they beefed it up. Uh, it's a seven and a half percent Berliner. Ooh, Excessive pretty. amounts of raspberry, blackberry, and uh, and strawberries. They say. Oh, oh my! It smells like something I know. This was a uh, um, small place right near the uh, right near the airport. My my nephew brought me to. Um, man, the these guys had a um, before I, before I taste this one. They had a, they had a peanut butter and jelly. Um, sour and and we just bought we bought two mixed four packs to wait in line at this barbecue place that yeah. we went to and uh good start yeah no it was great so we you know like hey just give us a a mixed four pack of ipas and a mixed four pack of uh of berliners and uh one of these was so i mean it was unbelievable that peanut butter and jelly just tasted like peanut butter and uh wow that sounds interesting um i'll have to figure out the name peanut butter and jelly pp and j yeah but this is tasty dude wow blackberries raspberries strawberries Really tart. Mm-hmm. I'm trying, That's uh. It's got a little bite to it there, but I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. It pours like a, like a watermelon, like a bright pink kind of, huh? Burgundy. Much, is it, mm-hmm. Yeah. Pink. Pl- I wouldn't call it magenta. Pink. Yeah, magenta. Magenta. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a tasty beverage. I mean, gosh, never even heard of them. Hmm. I I hadn't heard of them either. They're cracking out some pretty good burleys. Berliners. My my nephew tried to bring me to a couple of places in uh, um, in Dallas, but we were there for such a short period of time. We we're just there for um, one night, and then we we went uh, and waited in line at at that Snow's Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Um, Good old. Was it? it was unbelievable. Really? It was yeah. It was on like the the pork steak was like just lights out. Uh, so hmm. we uh, we got there. We were like fifteenth in line. Um, so we, we got there at about 12.30 in the morning, and then uh, it opened at, like, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. I think a little before, maybe 7.45, they started taking people in. But we were, uh, we were like, done eating at, like, 9 in the morning, <laughs> back in the vehicle, like, driving, uh, driving back to Dallas. It was Not great, enough. though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, we had chairs, you know, so we, we had chairs. We, we brought How many people the, were there? Uh, the 267, I think, when they opened up wow. is how many people were there. 50 they, people an hour. Right? And that's, yeah. So, um, Carrie, the, the owner's walking around, you know, and, you know, counting everybody off. And then they do a couple of, uh, they do a couple of raffles, uh, where, where you can move up. Like every 50 people, they count everybody off and then they're like, you know, one through 50 and then they'll, they'll pull, uh, pull a number and, and they'll, that person gets to go up 10 spots, I think it is, mm-hmm. or, or something. Mm-hmm. Um, keep it interesting. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, somebody had said, uh, they're like, hey, uh, um, they're like, uh, oh, we're 265. They're like, uh, how long is it going to be? And they're like, well, we serve about 50 an hour. You do the math. Mm-hmm. That's like five hour wait to get yeah. some barbecue. Yeah. Crazy. Literally. Yeah. So I, we showed up at 1230. We were like 15th in line. Uh, one of my coworkers showed up at like 330. Uh, he was like 50th in line. So he was, uh, he was just sitting down at nine o'clock. They frown upon we, people cutting in too, don't they? Yeah. So, you know, I, I was like, Hey, uh, you know, he showed up. I was like, I'll, I'll come back and uh, and talk to you, but uh, I don't know if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't the place. I don't think yeah, you know that you yeah. want to like jump oh, the I was, line. I was holding. I was holding this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Line. Exactly. <laughs> it's curtains. You yeah. know. Wow. <laughs> They're all carrying guns. So. Yeah. So they um 
Yeah, so everybody was cool. He was, you know, I mean, he understood. He went to the back of the line, hung out there, uh, or, you know, 50th. He was still, uh, he had went a few weeks before and he was like the mid 200s, Ooh. didn't get any food. Wow. Uh, wow. So he like, I mean, he was, I think he was like, I'm not hanging out. Well, tell the story about the pit master. Yeah, so that, that, that show was on, um, uh, chef's table. Chef's table. Yeah, barbecue. That Tootsie, Miss Tootsie. Um, she's like eighty-six years old, pit master. I mean, it was uh, right. So she shows up at one thirty in the morning and is like shoveling coals. You know, I mean, it's, mm. it's ridiculous. They had two different guys. They, uh, you know, they're one of the smokers. They, the guy said that they had eighty briskets uh, that they that they were cooking, and mm. then you know they had uh, another smoker. Uh, the other side of that had uh, had ribs in it, and then. Um, they have these direct smokers that are um, uh, making the pork steak and, mm-hmm. and the chicken. It's. Uh, I think I would get a platter to, to eat there, and then I would get a platter to go. Yeah, that would be my we, ideal setup. We got some to go, <laughs> and then uh, when we left uh, Dallas, we realized we brought like the coleslaw and potato salad, and left all the meat at my brother's house <laughs> or my nephew's house. <laughs> so Megan He's was living on. High Megan high was pretty high. bummed. Literally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was phenomenal. That pork steak was unbelievable. It was really, really good. It was. Uh, I was a huge fan of it. Well, I watched the show, and she's she's phenomenal. She knows what she's doing. That's for sure. It was it was super super interesting to watch. And her, you know, husband passing, and then her son passing. That was kind of a tragedy. But she keeps going, mm. doing her thing. And what did you, did your nephew say he was going to kiss her on the lips? He did. And then we got there and there was a <laughs> sign that down. said, no hugging Miss Tootsie, no. <laughs> so she, um, right away when we got there, they must have, uh, she must have known, you know, she was walking around saying, you know, talking to a few people. Um, and then uh, by the time we had came back out, she was back behind, like manning the pits uh-huh. again. But she would, uh, her and Carrie were hanging out right back there so you could take pictures with them. You know, they'd be... Mm-hmm back you know in front of the smokers and then there was you know a little area you could just uh, you could take a selfie with them so mm-hmm. uh we took a a selfie uh with uh with miss tootsie and carrie it and was we, great the food do a was road phenomenal. trip uh, podcast from there with mm-hmm. beer and uh, uh barbecue it that barbecue was unbelievable okay. i don't know that i would want to wait in line again that long. I, I would do it again but um sure it was it would. made for a long day yeah, the next yeah, day yeah. yeah sure you would for sure um, but yeah, no, so that was awesome. So, but this beer, what do you guys think of that? That's great. Pretty all right. So it's seven and a half percent Berliner. Uh, yeah, I, I can like that raspberry and, uh, blackberry are what I taste. Fantastic. Most. Yeah. Good call. Way to work that deal. Yeah, yeah. no, that's, that's really good. You know what it reminds me of? Now I know. Rolling needles. Ooh. Rowing needles. Sorry. Yeah. Has that same, uh, that very same similar. Fruit. Yeah. Very similar. That was really good. What's up next, Charlie? Today, on the number two spot, uh, God, B-L-A-D-I or D-Y? Obladi. Obladi. The heavenly, heavenly fruited, heavenly, hev- heavily fruited sour. I can't Leave the big that. words to me, Charlie. Yeah, I know. Heavily fruited sour loaded with I know blueberries what the and, and mark and, means. <laughs> and Andy and blackberries. Oh, but he has a strong sour blackberry notes that overpower the cheerful blueberries, especially I mean, in the finish. It's they're right up there. So this beer has a uh, tart jelliness to it. Uh, they're, they're also getting uh, flavors of sugar coated sour patch kids and frozen fruit smoothies. All right. I'm not getting much of a smell of it. They say if you remember our thick smoothie like uh, beer snakes on a planet, which we just had. Uh, this is his tangy younger brother. It's fluffy, decadent, and uh, perfect mix of breakfast and uh, dessert. Super mild, not not as not as tart at all, but definitely uh, similar. But it's like a hazy version of that other one. Mm. That's a taster, man. That's got a uh, it's a lot thicker consistency, huh? Like almost a. Mm-hmm. I just. I mean, it definitely pours like a more thicker, pulpier looking. Sure, but oh. it would be a like a hazy. Hazy because it's got like a. That's like a smoothie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's a lot it's thicker. Not as, it's not as sour as you know. Yeah, it's mild, but it's good. It is really mild. That that comes in at five point three percent. I think I, I, I yeah, it's certainly uh, it's kind of tart there on the back end. Not as uh, not as uh, tart as I think the uh, the other beer. Definitely drinker. Yeah, no, that's a uh, 
What's the difference on the alcohol content? Uh, 5.3 yeah. and 7, or 5.2 and 7.3, right. I think. Yeah. This would be a good intro, sour. Yeah, sour. absolutely. Good call, Steve. Damn, got one up on us again. Mm. <laughs> Hey, so did you guys uh, have any decent beers recently? A lot. Oh, yeah. Let's what, uh, hear about it, Steve. Well, Christy went up to Bend, Oregon, and brought back a ton of beers. It's got they got a pretty uh, pretty good beer yeah, scene, huh? Yeah, they Look do. there, he's turned his wife into a beer mule. Yep. I think Nicely <laughs> done. I think it was like twenty two beers. <laughs> good call. They're all individuals. There's no doubles. You know, she, oh yeah. They, she went into a store and she said. I want IPAs, and the guy just loaded her up with them. But just shopping, nice. But it, there's there wasn't a lot to share. I'm trying to look through my my list here. There's a there's a, there's a lot. But there's a couple that I really liked. Um, I had a couple of good beers. Would you? Uh, well, we uh, Jake and Josh and I went to uh, uh, Original Forty mm-hmm. and had a plethora of good beers there. Um, the one that I liked was the Fluff. Jiggly Fluff, I think it was called, which I'm accustomed to. I have a lot of Jiggly Fluff. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was great, man. Super fruity and tasty. Strawberries and whatnot. Very good. But, you know, I'm addicted to lagers right now in this heat. Yep. So I've been pouring uh, cold snacks and um, North Park lagers and... Anything lager. And uh, you brought me some Casey lager I got to get into. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be interesting. Never had a lager from Casey before. Mm. So I'm excited about that. But, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. I'll, I'm digging through. I got to clear out the cooler, man. Got too many beers in the cooler. Yeah. No by, no by July was helpful. But I think I might have skidded into a couple of beers at the end of July mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Just yeah. a couple. Some gifts. Yeah. Literally, yes. They were yeah. they were handed over to me mm-hmm. across the counter. Yeah. So, I um. How about you, Steve? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Van Eber, E B E R T, volatile substance, a Northwest IPA. Mm-hmm. Who's that from? Von Eber, up in uh, Ben. Um, it says they may not be in Ben. They might be in Portland or or not Portland, but someplace in Oregon, North. North of here, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, A nice little, you know, pig logo. Boar. Yeah. Silver boar. Oh, yeah. Good looking can. Oh, I'm, I'm twisting off a Topo Chico right now. Mm-hmm. So, rinse my palate day. Yeah, it looks like they are in Portland. Are they? Okay. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> it's good beers, uh, Chris. Pretty good beers? Good call. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks like uh, that Von Ebert's in uh, Portland. Any any other beers, Steve? Um, Apocalypse IPA from Ten Barrel Brewing. Yeah, an IPA that was very good. Wait a minute, I don't think we've had anything from Ten Barrel. You know what Ten Barrel is, don't you? In Anheuser Busch. Is it? Really? You should be flogged for that. I had no idea. They ran them right out of town here. Now you know. Mm-hmm. They, they um. Where are they at? They, they were originally were in um. Portland, I believe, is where they started, or maybe. Um, well, they haven't screwed up the recipe. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it was pretty good, huh? <laughs> they I had a couple it, of good beers. I thought it was that. good. I've tasted them uh, out of just uh, strictly uh, research. Research. Yeah. Well, um, well, it goes back to that one huge diagram we found on the internet, which listed all the different breweries that were. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they got bought out a few years ago. Uh, Bend is where they're at. Mm. They're actually out of Bend mm-hmm. originally. And then they put up a bunch of brew pubs all over the nation. I think mm. a lot of them shut down. Yeah. They uh, uh, just didn't get... There was one down in gas in the gas lamp. Yeah, I oh, went to the really? opening. Oh. Because wow. I, uh, I had guests in town and they wanted to go there. And I tried to lure them to real breweries, but mm-hmm. it didn't work out. But I did drink a sour there, the Berliner. It was pretty good, actually. Yeah. But... I wasn't going to support it other than that. So is two pitchers brewing any good? Before I tell you that their Rattler was excellent. (laughs) (laughs) Never had any. Yeah. Excellent. Grapefruit Rattler. Oh, it's so good. Two pitchers, you said? Two pitchers. Mm Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty pretty leery to me. 
I don't know, Steve. Yeah. We have to. Uh, yeah, they're you uh, Mike, so a microbrewery out of uh, San Francisco. Yeah. There you go. That's why. It's craft. It's individual. It's independent. So I um, I had a couple of beers. I was telling you guys earlier about uh, this well, uh, this this um, beer from Celestial, a peanut butter and jelly Berliner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was uh, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, blackberry, and then peanut butter. So it it was it was like uh, it was really unique. Um, yeah, it's called Welcome to Space Jam uh, <laughs> from from Celestial. It was phenomenal. It was super good. I'd like to try that. The um, another Did beer I had. Chance? They did, but we, like we we just bought two mixed four packs, so we uh, I was like, dang, that was really good. Um, <laughs> then the next afternoon, I didn't. So that was Friday afternoon. We stopped in and and uh, had a flight, picked some beers up for our uh, for our barbecue trip. Had one of each, and then um, yeah. That's why I'm a big fan of buying a case. Yeah, that that beer I, I certainly would have liked to have had a uh, <laughs> a couple extras for sure. Um, Another beer I had, I, I, you know, I only stopped at a couple of breweries um, uh, on, on this trip, but I, one of them was Casey, uh, and, and I had a, a fruit stand, ap, uh, an apricot fruit stand. I'm um, glad you went there. Yeah, it was great. It was super cool little brewery. It's like right under the bridge. I went to the, to the tasting room, like downtown Glenwood Springs. Mm-hmm. Um, me and Megan, it, it worked out, worked out great. We had, we camped in super Vail the night before, area, yeah. and then um, we went to a little hot springs, like four or five miles from the, um, from the brewery, just right. right off the freeway, hung out there. And then, uh, we got to the brewery right as it was opening. Mm-hmm. Here's what we need to do. Before it gets really cold up there, you need to go up there to Casey, go to the brewery and then jump in the river right below the brewery. <laughs> Serious. It's, it's right there. I mean, it's down, yeah. I mean, just down like 70, 80 yards Tris- and you're in the water. It's as, it's as dark as these these chairs are. <laughs> it's how dark that river is. No, it is. It. It's, it's moving, beautiful. It's moving forty five miles. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really wide river. It's 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 yeah. like it's like Colorado, a, right? A couple hundred yards wide. Is that the Colorado yeah. River? I don't know what river it is. I could look it up. If yeah. You want, no, it's great. Um, that's a really cool area. If you're ever ever in that uh, that neck of the woods, it's a neat little uh, downtown area. Um, it was fun. The, gosh, it was. Uh, so we we just stopped at that brewery. That was the only brewery that I had. Celestial and, and then Casey were the only places that I actually had a beer at. Mm. Um, I just stopped into another brewery and pick up some cans. Okay, that river is, it's the Atkinson's Canal. Uh, hold on. Ro- uh, the Roaring Fork River is what it is. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Another side, uh, side deal there. Fork River. Roaring Fork. And it's just, it's, it's like a... It's not super fast moving. It's not like white watery fast. Yeah. It's just it's got a current to it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a river. And it's it's pretty wide. I mean, it's a pretty good swath, but it's right below the brewery. I mean, when you're out of their back, you're looking right down mm. the river. It's gorgeous, you know. Yeah, it's got to be nice. I said, "Man, you guys need a zip line here." <laughs> just like whoosh, right in the thing, a little tow bar to get you up the other side. Be cool, man. There you go. I'm in on it. I'm gonna set that up for next venture. Yeah, but I'd do love it. to go do that. Yeah, no. Jump in that river. Nice little uh speedo on like the Olympians. Yeah. <laughs> the um yeah, that was a uh it was a cool little trip that we went on. Yeah, I'll bet it was nice little brewery. What's uh what do you got next, Charlie? Let me reach into this bag of tricks. We're going original forty. Mm-hmm. Glowing sunset, West Coast Indian Pale Ale. I'm a, I'm a fan right of the West Coasters. Chris's Alley. Ooh, it smells. So this is a Strata Simcoe and uh, Equinot uh, come together to create pineapple tangerine aromas. It's just a hint of dark pine on the. It's not churn. Yeah. <laughs> they say super pale. This is a San Diego pale ale. It's perfect for any. I time double of faked him with the hand to mm-hmm. the can, and then poured a little more, and then faked him again. <laughs> he was bamboozled. The uh, nice looking can. Yeah. There. You know what? Original forty is good. Yeah, we dropped in there. Uh, um, Last night, we just dropped in there. Yeah, grabbed a uh, grabbed a beer, a little. Uh, uh, they had a Mexican lager. Mm. Uh, it was super tasty. Yes, man. They um, their brewer we were we were mentioning uh, um, Cosimo. He mm-hmm. was uh, originally at Monkey Paw, which Cosimo. Uh, went out of business a few yeah, years ago. Yeah. 
great brewery. But made phenomenal beers. Yeah. Or weren't um, they sold to um, Coronado and then yes, debunked yeah. after that? Yeah, they did. They they were bought out by Coronado. You know where Monkey Paw was, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right and then, the, they, mm-hmm. then they shut End of 94, they're going downtown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. So. Wow. This is really good. Uh, the, uh, our, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, hmm. Buskirks had, were big fans hmm. of that, Monkey Paw. I like the, they made great sandwiches right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was great right before the That's game. That's what they told me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was phenomenal. The, the sandwiches, they yeah, made yeah. like kind of a Philly cheese steak. Yeah. That yeah. was great. Yeah. And then their their fries or tots or whatever they were were really good. I well. never ate there, but we drank beers yeah. there before yeah. the game. Their beers were good. Yeah, it was great. It was super close to the park, a few blocks away. You, you had about a 25% chance of getting mugged on the way to the park from there. <laughs> That's pretty delicious. It is good. That's a good... Uh, um, you know, it comes in at seven percent, but it certainly is more like a. It's not is super it heavy. Wow. That's what it. Yeah, that's what this uh, does not taste like. It, it certainly that. doesn't. I was I was expecting you know closer to five percent. It's really light, but you definitely you get that. Uh, I mean, I got a little fruit. I'm on team dirty glass over here. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. But the uh, glass. It certainly is bright. Like it's not. Yeah. You know, it's not super resiny. Like you know, like uh, like over the top with that that uh, West Coast. Well, uh, the original forty. The name comes from the original forty acres up there in North Park. Mm. So that's the uh, the tricky little thing. I, and most most people probably would. Well, most people probably would know that. I didn't know it until mm-hmm. someone told me. So North Park was like a forty acre plot. Said this I think is North Park. Was, yeah. and we're going to move people here, and then it just blew up. I mean, and then after the war, yeah. I think, and then all went that down, area, and then came back. <laughs> well, they 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 built so many homes up there. Uh-huh. I mean, it's just ridiculous amount of homes. And you know, the cool part is, you know, having this place there. I mean, it's the neighborhood brewery now because Thorn Street has moved mm. from Thorn Street. Mm. I mean, at least the last time I was down there, they aren't open at Thorn Street. Anymore. They're at their big one down yeah. in down, yeah. I wonder why they do that. Barry Logan. Yeah, yeah. You'd think that they would keep that little satellite there. And yeah. Pour yeah. beers. But, I mean, that was the best, at that point, that was the best neighborhood brewery mm. in probably the state. So they, they say this, uh, um, yeah, the original 40 is named after the, the 40 acres of land purchased in 1893 by James Monroe Hartley that is now in North Park. There you go. They got a great food menu. Oh, they do. They say at, uh, at original 40. Did you eat there the other day? Uh, no, we didn't. But uh, I have had food there. Yeah. And it's good. It's real good. Mm. Yeah, it was really, it's a super cool brewery. You walk in, the, you, the bar, the, the, you know, the, the beers are on one side. The brewery's right there. You can look at the, the whole brewery, handful of tables inside and out. Really cool little spot. Friendly people work in there. Well, when, uh, when uh, uh, Jake and Josh and I went in there, the owner came out and gave us a, a, a flight of uh, tasters. Of their two new beers, I guess, yeah. and they were outstanding, believe it or not. So it was pretty cool. I mean, we had a good time. Uh, I think we, I think we, uh, I think we went to North Park also there, and Hamilton's ice cream, because I wouldn't let them slip by without getting no ice cream. Yeah, but it was, you know, enjoyable, very enjoyable. And uh, Jake said he's he's he thinks that's a date night place. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah. For you two? No, not me. And him. <laughs> no. Not at this point. I mean, the, uh, um, the rushing thing. Yeah, don't push me into anything. No, <laughs> I think him and him and his wife. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, um, no, that place is great. It's a mm. super cool. Uh, it's a really cool little my, spot. Put that on my list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's right there on University as you're coming into North Park. Right when you pass the the 805 there, you get off an 805 mm. University and just uh, take that left. And they got IPAs there. Yeah. No, they have. Uh, they really have a little good. bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jiggly Fluff. Jiggly Fluffer, I think it was called. The original Haze was none of Oh, them. yeah. The original the Hazy Hef- beer was a Hefeweizen. Because it was. It was mm-hmm. the original Hazy beer. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they had a great, uh, great tap list, for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. I didn't eat any food there, but... Uh, they had lagers. They had IPAs. They had Berliners. They had slush smoothies. But That's was, a really good beer. Yeah. yeah that's really good, good call, man. Who bought that? Golly, that was uh, that was all you, Charlie. <laughs> but I so thank you for it. Some of the other the beer places that we can buy beer is this. Do they sell this? Usually? They have like cans. It? I don't know if this is one of their um, 
Or are they di- any distribution? Like, I don't not, know. If they I have mean, any. I think, I think you can uh, go there and get it. Though. Yeah, but you can go there and get it, but yeah. it's not going to show up at Valley Farms. Or no, I don't not think likely. That, um, I haven't seen it. I'd love let's, that. To let's happen. see here. Give me just a sec. Yeah. I'd really love that. Yeah, this would be a really good beer for that. Yeah, it's it's super delicious. I mean, everything they had, we tasted quite a few beers and everything. Well, was I just really think the cans good. like kind of cool too. If it sat out and you know, if you're looking at beers, it really stands out with the original forty and the West Coast IPA at the yeah. top and the glowing sunsets. Yeah, it's a great can. I like it. Looks like maybe a you know um, they're they're at a handful of uh, places around town like. Um, looks like people have checked it in at Eureka or Bine and Vine. So mm-hmm. maybe, you know, some of your finer, uh, your finer beer, uh, establishments. Places establishments. that won't yeah, allow yeah. to go, <laughs> won't allow us to go there. Yeah, I mean, I've never been in Bine and Vine. I know that guy's like me in there. I'm thinking, uh, do they have any at Cecil's or, um, no, they don't, say, they don't, uh, it just shows a couple of different, uh, beers. Looks like they're guest tap at a couple of different breweries, but, mm-hmm. um, yeah, no, I haven't seen them uh, anywhere. They're they're small. It's like a little brew pub. Yeah, yeah. So they're just brewing like right in the brewery. You know, mm-hmm. there's no no production. Yeah. It's a it's small place. Good though. I mean, everything they. I mean, seriously, we tasted quite a few different things, and they were all really good. And I, you know what? I'll go back there. I mean, I've been there. This I've been there three times now. So I mean, it's it's not a whole lot. I mean, there's so many selections to go to. I mean, it's hard to get up and go all the way to North Park from here, East County here. But, uh, you know, I would do that, definitely. You know, because you, you can walk to North Park Brewery from there. You can walk to Hess from there. You can walk to uh, Bottlecraft from there. Um, mm. and going, yes, sir. You know, yep. from there, you could actually go up the street a little ways and find a couple other places. But, I mean, it's a little further. But definitely a nice little area to uh, eat and drink beverages. It is, for sure. I recommend you check it out. So our final beer is uh, right, Farm yeah. Hash. Yeah, there you go. It's a uh, it's from Celestial. Again, we're going, going back to them. It's an IPA, mm. a New England style double. Oh, wow. uh, it's a collab with Jester King. He oh. says they uh, eight point five boys, eight and a half double IPA. They crafted with their uh, favorite Dripping Springs buddy Jester King. Mm-hmm. And where's Jester King in Texas? Um, it's right outside of Austin. Okay. Um, kind of farm. So they said super yeah. complex because all the major contributors, local malts, tropical hops, strata hash, and phantasm. Uh, the mash is made of Texas malt, uh, Lano Pilsner malt, uh, Pilsner malt, and they're Denton County wheat along with raw wheat from uh, MBS Seed Company in Denton, Denton Texas. Just pouring a full glass for myself on this one. Mm-hmm. Wow. You. I can smell oh, my gosh. some nuggets in there. Let me tell you, that's a t- that's going to be tasty. I well, some of those Jester Kings we've had have just been amazing. Yeah. Well, this isn't your normal Jester King because uh, I don't think I've never had a hazy from Jester King. <laughs> Not in New England style, at least. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe an original hazy like a Hefeweizen. They're known for their wild beers mm-hmm. usually, so which are outstanding. Chris, this smells really good. Oh, I'll have it in just a minute. Is there any left in there? Sure enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's more than I thought you'd get. <laughs> Look at this. I poured. <laughs> I got a Sorry, full glass in. almost. Because mm. I didn't come here to watch. El Dorado and Citrus Hops. Strata mm. Ash and Phantasm. Is that a... What's Phantasm? Oh, yeah. That's drinky. It's got its own logo. Got some hillbilly on there. Is that a hops with its own leg up? Leg up? Um, so it's... So it says, uh, oh, that's Jester King, a barrel with the horns on it. Yep. Yeah. And then this is, I don't know what that is. That's their logo. Yeah, but that's not. But this is what I was talking about. Like, what's that? Oh, Phantasm. I don't know what that is. Is it a double, double club? Um, created by a company of the same name. It's a powder. It's used in uh, active fermentation oh, that oh, complements okay. the regular dry hop. Oh. Mm. <laughs> guy's carrying little goats around or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh my goodness. We should have started with this one, man. Yeah. It's legit. Oh, that is a really good yeah. uh that's a really good beer. <sighs> Ooh, there's a good. uh certainly like there's I mean a little bit of bitterness in that, right? More than I Tiny. think yeah. 
Yeah, like a cool. little bit more than, I mean, but but I think more than you get with uh, you know these kind of juice bombs or whatever you know. Well, you know what it reminds me of is a little bit of the beers from Who Farted. That's that's your old spot, huh, Charlie? Yeah, that is the Ohio original Who Farted Brewery. Sound good to you? Yeah, <laughs> that's a funny name. Yeah, <laughs> if you say it properly, yeah, it is. It is. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. No, that's uh. They're in the same. That's in the same category, man. It's I tasty. really like that beer. Mm. It's um double, so it's coming in at uh, um, eight point five, brother. Is it eight point five? Yeah, and that's it's certainly a yeah, it's certainly hazy. You know, it's pouring like that. Uh, you certainly can't see through it. Mm-hmm. It's like a little bit of orange juice look to mm-hmm. it for sure. A little light on the sides. The pulpy version. It's because it's settling as we speak. Mm-hmm. The longer you let it set in your glass, mm-hmm. it'll probably turn clear after a while. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Chris, good call, man. Yeah. Gosh. That was amazing. Way to start us up. Yeah, so uh, so we had the, the four beers. The uh, We started off with the Snakes on a Planet, uh, or the Celestial beers. We had Snakes on a Planet, Obladi, uh, and then um, we had the original 40, uh, the Glowing Sunsets, and finished up with this Farm Hash collab with uh, Celestial and... Uh, September is here. Yeah, and Jester King. What'd you guys uh, uh, what'd you think? That last one is really that farm good. hash. And yeah, that's it. I, I think I'd have to go that same route. You know, I I, I like the the first two. Uh, I mean, I liked all three of them. Yeah. I'm a big West Coast fan. Like I'd certainly drink that again. But I think you oh, know absolutely. the most unique, and I think the best of of those three, I, I for, or four for me was uh, that farm hash. Good call, man. Good selection. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there, you've done good. Mm-hmm. Well, there it is. And that's a couple couple decent beers for the first show back. Absolutely. And the uh, I guess the, over the next couple shows, we'll, we'll continue to investigate some beers that we uh, picked up during the hiatus. We got more stories. Sure enough. Cheers. 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 Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.